Okay, we're in the process of building the flying machine and we have already glued on the paper strips around the edges. Now, the reason that I used super glue when I attached these, because the super glue really stiffens up the edge and you're gonna notice that it never fits perfectly and it's always gonna overhang the edge, like here. Um, so the next step is to get these ready is to sand off the paper. So now I'm trying to sand it off so that my edges are nice and flat again. And this is going to take a while, so um, I'll come back um, before I get to the next step. The edges are now smooth. I'm done sanding the edges. They look really nice. Um, so my next step is to put on these little rivets. Now, the, Again, these are purely decorative and if it's too hard for you, just go ahead and skip it and go on with the rest of the rocket. The rocket's still going to look good without them. Um, it just adds that extra layer of detail that really pops out. Um, now, these rivets, um, I use epoxy, but other people like to use other materials like glues, uh, wood glues mixed with some fillers um, and things like that. And I don't have all the formulas. Um, so as people send them in and you comment on this video, I will post them on the Apogee website, not below the video on YouTube, but on the Apogee website, if you go to the Flying Machine Kit page, that's where you will find all the suggestions that other people write in and tell me that work really good for these fillets. I like the uh, epoxy fillets because they really stand out and they don't shrink as they harden. Um, anything with water in it is going to shrink. So you have to be, you know, have to kind of remember that. Um, so that's what I'm looking for here when I'm build, when I'm putting on the fillets or the, the rivets. And you'll notice that the, the canards, they're a little bit smaller than the, um, the ones on the fins. Um, and that's why these are printed here is to kind of give you a guide where to put them. You don't have to put them exactly where it shows. It's up to you. It's your rocket. Enjoy it. Um, the epoxy that I'm going to use is the rocket epoxy. Um, we sell it here at Apogee Components. It's a two-part epoxy, and it's really thick. Um, it's not a clay. Um, it is it is a liquid, but it's so thick that it it doesn't it doesn't pour out. So you got to scoop it out, and you want equal parts of part A and part B. Ugh. You'll see it's thick, like that. So that's part A. And this is why I'm wearing the gloves. It's, it gets sticky. And I'm going to clean off my dipping stick before I... Oh, I just put the wrong lid on this one. Part B. Now the mixture isn't really critical, but you want to have approximately equal parts of A and B. And then mixing it is it's worse than mixing peanut butter. But that's what it's going to look like when you're done. Now, um, the rock epoxy, when you get it, it comes with a dye that you can put in there. Um, I'm just going to leave it in its natural state. The dye um, kind of helps you to gauge if you got a good mix, uh, because then, you know, if you have an equal color, then you have a good mix. Okay, so now this is way too thick to put on, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little dowel and I'm going to 
cap it onto the part and if it's too thick it's not going to want to stay or it's not going to want to ooze off of the little dowel. Um, here I'm just using uh, just a piece of music wire. You can take a paper clip or a toothpick. Um, but I'm going to thin this out and I'm just going to use some rubbing alcohol. Um, just put in a few drops. Too much. And when you first start mixing it, it doesn't want to mix in, but it will mix in. It's a little bit more runny now. You can see it's kind of rolling around in the bottom. That's good. That's kind of what I want. Um, the nice thing about it is the, the um, alcohol will evaporate out, but it doesn't cause the dots to shrink, um, which is kind of why I prefer this. It's just, it's a thing that, it's just a preference. Um, I want, I want rivets to stand out. Um, some people don't care. Um, it's totally up to you what you use. All right, so now I'm just going to put this on there to keep it all in one spot. Take my dowel. And this takes a long time. Um, it'll probably take you a good hour, um, close to maybe two hours, just to do one side. So you'll do one side, let it harden. The next day, you flip them over, and then you do the other side. Um, that's the process. Um, and if your epoxy starts to, to get really stiff, kind of like it's curing, you can throw in a little bit more alcohol, and that will thin it out again. Um, I'd only do that one time. I wouldn't do that a second time after you thinned it out. Um, because at that point, I, I don't know what's going to happen to the epoxy. Uh, one of the reasons people like to use glue is because it's got a little nozzle, and then you can do it faster. Um, and I can totally see that. And occasionally you're going to mess up and you're going to smudge it, because that happens. Um, at this point, it's still in its liquid state, so you can just wipe it off with a paper towel and reapply. As you can see, as I'm putting them on, I'm rotating the dowel just a little bit to try to help get it to uh, drop off onto the under the under the fin. You see they're all a little bit of a different size, uh, but you'll get the hang of it pretty quick. You see I twist it. Now these dots, they're not going to shrink on me, which is the part that I like. See, I dropped it here in the middle. I'll just take it off here with the back side of the dowel. Okay, so that one's done. Now it's hard to pick up, so I'm just going to slide it off to the side and start the next one. All right, so I'm going to do all of these, both sides, uh, before I continue with the next part of building the rocket.